Hey everybody, who's ready to hear a new piece of gear? I'm gonna give you just a little taste of um, the new Cloudburst by Strymon. Um, I'm gonna play a few different things. Let me tell you what I've got set up here. First of all, um, my guitar, my trim caster. Um, it has the original Joe Bardens in it. And one day I'll hop on here and tell you the actual story behind these pickups right here. It's pretty compelling, but I'll, I'll save that for another day. Uh, but just a quick video right here. My, my setup is uh, my guitar into the big old box of chicken. I love that. I keep it on pretty much all the time. Uh, fullness is fantastic. Um, that's the first thing I run into. Then I'm into a Zoom Multi Stomp, which is just a, a great uh, all-around um, Swiss Army knife type pedal. So um, right now I don't have anything turned on on it, but I will turn on a Tube Screamer here in a minute. Uh, but then I'm going into the new Strymon Cloudburst. So here's the sound of my guitar. All right, sounds pretty good. Just a little bit of reverb echo on that, not much. Uh, and then, of course, like I said, some really nice sustain coming from the big old box of chicken. fantastic by itself um, but I'm gonna add in the cloud burst okay it is um, it has a pre delay in it it has um, a reverb type of, of canyonist type sound and then of course it has um, something that I wasn't expecting but I love it and that is more of a synth feel back behind some of the notes that I'm doing doesn't work for everything um, and no pedal does so that's just how that works so I'm going to play one note without the cloud burst. One note. Ready? Okay, just a simple note there. Let's turn it on and take a listen. So you are hearing a developing reverb as well as a developing synth tone, voicing tone that is running down um, uh, right out of my pickups. Okay, so a really cool sound right there. Um, let me add some overdrive to that. like this might work right here. I bet you probably know this song. about full and thick whether you're hitting a big power chord once again as the strings start to fade you can hear the voicing and the synth continue to carry it out there a little bit <laughs> out of the way of your actual chords. See what I mean there? Lots of definition still coming from um, 
the tube screamer, the box of chicken, the, of course, uh, adding a little bit of drive on that. I love how it does that. Uh, <laughs> Once again, the definition of the actual play and even the faster licks and stuff coming from the right hand um, were, were definitive, they were cutting through, and it wasn't so muddy on the background. There's so many of these other pedals out there that tends to wash things out. And, and I just tried to look for it. Now, you could get a washout setting on this. It, there's some amazing tones as you start to tweak um, and look for other things that you can use in the studio or, or recording and stuff like that. But I wanted to find something that still was full and big, nice big canyonist reverb with the synth slightly kicking in on that uh, for big leads. You can hear those tones kind of coming in off of that. And again, I've got this at lower volume. Um, it's kind of later in the evening here, so I don't want to disturb anyone. Um, so it's it's lower volume as far as what you're hearing. Um, when you crank up the amplifier, it's when this thing really comes alive. But I'm not going to do that for the video purposes right now. Um, but just listen a little bit more. I'm going to play, um, maybe I'll do something um, a little more chilled out without the distortion on. So... Now you can hear that thickness.
just even without an accompaniment or a piano player behind me or something like that. It just elongates these notes, lets things get behind me. Um, I'm anxious to listen back to this video as well before I post it um, so that I can hear even what it sounds like over a, a phone recorder. Um, and this is not run through some special recording <clears throat> device. This is just basically the amp sitting right off over here to my right uh, at low volume and then um, just the, the, the phone uh, recording from that. So uh, no other things, but I'm loving it. And that is the Cloudburst by Strymon. I will have more videos coming out on it later, but I wanted to give you a little taste of that and some of the, the tones that are coming out of it. So anyway, thank you all for watching and I hope you have a good one.